now we are live. Jee kela. Oh my my my. Yes, good morning, Grade Six. Good morning, Facilitator Jonathan. How are you? Hi, thank you, Facilitator Jonathan. So today we are learning about combined operations. And we are what we call order of operations. Can you say order of operations? Order of operations. When I'm talking of operations, I'm talking of addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication, and maybe another one you have never heard of called what? Or maybe brackets. These are the operations we use in mathematics. Let's go. Addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, or brackets. Good math. When you were in grade five, the teacher told you about board. I don't know whether you mentioned. He or she mentioned board math? Yes. Who can tell us what does this stand for? Brackets. Brackets. Write that. All stands for which operation? O. O. B stands for? Division. I have not asked you, I guess. Division. Division. M for? Multiplication. Multiplication. A for? Addition. Addition. Finally, S for? Subjection. Very good. And for the number. So this is the order of operations. When you are doing mathematics, we always start with? Brackets. Lively. Brackets of division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Subtraction comes last. Subtraction comes last. I want to us to do this question. It's made up of this division, there's this operation division, there is multiplication, and there is addition. So who can tell us which is the first operation we are going to do? The first operation. Yes. We are going to start with division. We are going to check like this. Look at me. Is there a bracket in the question? No. So we just start from bracket. Is that? Yes. Is there off in the question? No. Is there any off? No. Just cancel like that. Is there division? Yes. So we should first divide. So I write, I underline division like that. Then I divide 12 by 3. Some are separate. I divide 12 by 3. 12 divided by 3. And the bear. You got a multiplication table of 3, which number do you multiply by 3 to get 12? 4. That's 4. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we have 4 times 4 plus 10. Now, after division, which sign should follow? Somebody? Multiplication. So we have a line, multiplication. We multiply here 4 times 4. Somebody, raise your hand. Those who are not raising your hand, yes, 4 times 4, 16, so here we get 16 plus 10 equals to, because the last operation now will be addition, we get 16 plus 10 is 26, so if you follow that order, you want to get that question right, you want to get the question what? You had a question like this in the exam, can we read it, somebody to read it for us, 10 before, Times 
plus twelve minus seventeen. Seventeen. So again, when you are doing such a question, it means write bonus above the question like this so that you can know the order you are going for, right? The order is the order is brackets of division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Now you start checking. Is there a bracket in the question? No. No, no. Well, if, if it is not there, you just type like that to show that there are no brackets, right? Then you move to off, there is no off, just cancel like that. If there is division, if the one which you now come and you underline that division, you underline the what? Division. Then who can tell us what is point A4 divided by A, and 4 divided by A? What do we get? We are looking for the number we multiply by 8 to get 24 or the nearest. Two times eight. Sixteen. Now, when you are doing multiplication, it's like repeated addition. It's like what? Repeated addition. If eight times one times eight is eight, to get two times eight, you just add another eight on this eight, right? You get to 16. If you are trying to get 3 times 8, you add another 8 to this 16. Just add 16, but then you get the other one to there. Six plus eight. Fourteen. So you write the ones, that is the tens. Clap of heart, good. So when you try 8 by 3, uh, by 24 divided by 8, you get 3. You get what? 3. So here we write 3 because 24 divided by 8 is 3. Then we have 3 times 5 plus 12 minus 17. Which is the next order after we have done division? Yes? We multiply. We multiply 3 times 5 first. Yes, 33 times 5, 15. So we have 15 plus 12 minus 17. Now we have addition and subtraction. We have multiplied. Which of the two comes first? Is it subtraction? We first subtract or we first add and then subtract? We add so that we can subtract last. So we add the two, which gives us 27, then minus 17. Who will subtract 27 minus 17 very fast and tell us the answer? 10. 27 minus 17 is 10. Very good. So, 